Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back as always, welcome back. Today I am here with week one of Drills and Chills. You guys, the event has started. I am so excited. I'm actually currently filming this on September 1st and it has been so much fun to see all the projects that everyone has already started on. So if you're wondering what is Drills and Chills, I'm gonna give you a super quick recap before we dive into this video. So Drills and Chills is a crafting community event that centers around and celebrates all things fall I almost said hall. <laughs> Halloween and fall or autumn. And uh, this is actually the fifth year that it's been it's been going on. And it's just such a fun event to get to be a part of and so fun to see all the different projects that people are working on. This year, I have a co-host that's Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. And we are each going to be doing weekly videos all throughout the event. And so you're seeing my week one video today and I want you to be sure to go and check out Lindsay's channel as well for her week one video because we both have hopefully some really fun content and also an amazing variety of prizes that we're going to be giving away. If you're here for that primarily, stick around. There's going to be info later in the video about how to enter because there are a couple of steps to do so. So anyway, you guys, um, uh, to, well, yeah, I'll get into how to enter for that in just a little bit. But yeah, if you want to join in on the event and you'd like to get more details about how to do so, I'm going to point you to our kickoff video and or to my just list of graphics with a pin post over on Instagram. And those are the quickest ways to get all the details you need for how to enter. You can do so anytime between now and the end of the event. We run through October 31st. You have oodles of time. Now, um, Today for week one of the event, I am going to be unboxing a couple of event themed kits, uh, actually two special drill kits. These are both full crystal kits and I'll show you what I mean once we get into it. Uh, but these are from a couple of our sponsors and I just want to take a moment here at the beginning to make sure that I let you guys know about um, something really, really incredible and amazing that you don't want to miss out on. And that is our sponsor list that uh, just has all the shops that we get to partner with to make this event happen. And it truly could not happen without all of these shops. And some of them have provided discount codes for the event. Others have done some on theme goodies for the event or have donated giveaway prizes. So I would really love for you to go and take a look at our sponsor list, which is linked in the description box just below this video. Take a look and and there are some amazing discount codes in there. All the shops are linked. Please go show them some love. Small shops need our love and support right now. So go and check it out. So what I have for you guys today, like I said, is an unboxing of two different crystal kits. And uh, I have one from Enablers Outpost, which yes, is one of our sponsors. And then Crystal Canvas Art Designs, another of our sponsors. Both fantastic shops that I've worked on kits from and absolutely adore. So let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna start with the bigger one just for sake of ease i suppose and i i actually bought this particular kit last year and didn't get the chance to work on it and i may get the chance to work on it this year i'm still not i'm still not 100 percent sure exactly which kits i'm gonna work on for drills and chills this year uh it's kind of a game time decision literally it was the day before the event started before i narrowed down from my 10 possible kits to start with uh, but anyway this particular kit is i believe it's called pumpkin patch dragon i'm gonna double check the name of it when we get into it it's licensed from the artist emma casey and i believe has square crystals and to my knowledge this actually is still available on their website uh, so you can go and take a look they have some other really cute kits that are also licensed from emma casey who does this really adorable artwork a lot of times with dragons uh so i love dragons so this was kind of a no-brainer and i thought was just so incredibly cute so there's a look at that adorable adorable canvas and artwork let's see what all was included okay so we do get a toolkit and don't worry about that canvas rolling rolling like that i will show you how you can easily roll it back so that it lays flat but first, just real quick, we have a basic toolkit in here. Uh, we've got a pen and squish, <laughs> a pen and squishy uh, that you can use. And then we have some thin plastic multi-placers. You can actually pop those into the end of the pen if you want to place more than one diamond at a time. We've got um, a tray for your diamonds as well as some wax for your pen. Come on camera, there we go. And then we've also got 
a pair of tweezers. So they're probably, yeah, they're quite sharp, really sharp on the end. So keep that cover on there. <laughs> They've also included uh, this, this paper sheet here. Um, it's not sticker paper, it's regular paper, but you guys all link to a really handy tool that turns paper into sticker paper if you want to create labels out of these. Uh, super easy to do. But anyway, here's a look at the original artwork. Yes, Pumpkin Patch Dragon by Emma Casey. Here's all the stats about it. And I love yeah, they've linked to the socials for the artist, which is really wonderful. Oh, a little bio too. So the size on this is going to be 50 by 65 centimeters, 23 colors, uh, 18 rhinestones and four ABs. Nice. And then um, we've got one glow in the dark drill. I didn't know that. That's going to be fun. Poured glue and square drills. So our color list is over here. Again, there's 23 in total, but that's going to be our glow in the dark drill and then our four ABs and then crystals galore so anyway i love that this is all included there's their branding by the way enablers outpost established 2020 the owners are so 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 sweet and i'll um i'll do my best to remember to link to some post reviews i've done of kits from them that i've that i've completed and um, i just i don't have any complaints they're they're great kits they're a wonderful small shop let's roll this backwards this is how you can help a canvas lay flat when it's wanting to roll in on itself a little bit it just happens when it's wrapped around the drills and put in a box. No harm done whatsoever. So there we go. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Obviously totally qualifies for drills and chills. Here's some branding at the top. There's their enablers outpost. Uh, we have some uh, finishing and scalloping on the edges and pokes. So you're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. Uh, the canvas, it's a pretty uh, kind of stiff material, um, but it's it's really sturdy and it holds drills well and lays flat well. Uh, I'm not sure if they, they may have made an update to this since last year, actually. It may be a different canvas material, uh, but I've worked on I think they're older and they're newer ones and no complaints at all so anyway you have a legend up here too 23 colors again a schematic and color list over here too the thumbnail and the colors and then we do have the title and the artist's name down at the bottom so legally licensed this is something that you'll you'll hear Lindsay and i both talk a lot about with uh, kits and kits that we buy and work on um, is we really just want to be buying kits that have been licensed from the artist that means that the artist in this case, Emma Casey, has both given permission for and is being compensated for the use of her artwork by Enablers Outpost. So uh, super important that companies are doing right by artists. Now here's a look at the drill field. And up close, we have a nice section, like this is what we call color blocking. Color blocking is when you have a bunch of the same symbol in a small area and you can use multi-placer and that tends to go a little bit more quickly and have that color in your tray for longer. Um, and then we do have some confetti like kind of in here is a good example. More color changes in a small area. You'll be changing out that color in your tray a bit more often and uh, single placing probably. Look, this, I'm sure that this is the glow in the dark symbol. One of these white symbols I bet is glow in the dark. That's gonna be so cute. This looks like it has a good mix of color blocking and confetti. And uh, the printing is really clear with these symbols. It's crystal clear, no blurriness whatsoever. And I know they do some nice charting and rendering with their canvases, which that just refers to uh, how the artwork is translated into diamond painting form. And I think Enablers Outpost does a nice job. Ooh, look at that confetti up here. Ooh, my, <laughs> there's a lot of confetti. The nice thing about confetti though, is you can get some uh, better sort of shading sometimes and get a better level of detail. But this is gonna be really interesting because this is a full crystal kit, which means, well, nearly all the colors are crystals. Uh, then we have some ABs and we have the glow in the dark drill, but they're, you know, the grand majority of the diamonds in this piece are special, are, are crystals and they're all special drills. Speaking of, do you guys wanna take a look <laughs> at these colors? They are so fall happy. Now we have this um, little model number here, EOS 15, that matches up with the model number over here on the canvas. So if you store these separate from each other and outside the box they came in, it'll be really easy to match them up later. Oops, sorry to bump the camera. Let me show you these real quick. All right, we'll grab, grab a couple from the middle. So they do come in these resealable bags. So I know a lot of people like to work out of resealable bags as opposed to storage containers. Uh, so that's a really nice option that this is included. Uh, and on the bags themselves, we have this number right here is the DMC, it's the color code, which matches up with uh, here. So we have 815 is this one. 
And then the 23.5 is just the weight in either grams or ounces. It's the same thing over here. 900 is the DMC, and then 16.7 is the weight. We have multiple bags of this color. There might even be more. Yeah, four bags of 815. <laughs> So by the way, if you're newer to special drill kits like this one, um, so yeah, these, this is what crystal drills look like. They have this silver kind of mirror backing on them. What this does is it ensures that it covers up the symbol on the canvas entirely once you place it. And it also helps with the reflectiveness of the crystals themselves. You can see they have kind of that crystally glassy looking effect. Very different from your standard, your standard diamonds, but Look at all of these delicious colors. <laughs> um, oranges and reds and this kind of pale golden yellow or beige. It's just, it's so much fun. Ooh, here we go. Here's some of our ABs. Look at that pretty pale pink. Now that's what I'm talking about. We have a clear crystal here. Ooh, okay, so we have a, that's an AB. Okay, let me make sure I'm pulling the ABs to show you. We have four in total. One, two, three, four. Yep, there they are. Here's our crystals, some pretty kind of like topaz brown. Ooh, we do have a few bags of, it's a 310 crystal. And they are squares. I haven't done a square crystal kit. Have I done one ever? I don't know that I've ever done a square crystal kit. Not just from Enablers Outpost, but I think from any company. That could be a fun challenge, something new to do. Oh, I bet that's our glow in the dark diamond. Okay, pull that one. And a few other pretty colors to look at. <gasps> Love those square crystals. All those gorgeous colors. Love it. Now, uh, it can be a little bit of a learning curve to work with crystals. You might find that different waxes or putties work better for you than the ones that you like to use with your regular diamonds. So don't be afraid to test out some different ones if you're feeling any frustration with that. Now, here are the ABs that were included. So they have a different effect than the crystals do. These are more like regular diamonds, but there is a special coating on the top. It's more subtle on the orange one, but more bold on like the black and the red. Uh, but this just, they get their name from the Northern Lights. It's kind of an iridescent effect, really pretty color change effect. And uh, this is just gonna have a really different kind of poppy effect from the, the crystals themselves. So we have four of these, these AB colors in here. And then we have this glow in the dark color, which is gonna look like just a regular white or ivory diamond once it's placed. But if you charge it with UV rays, like take it out in the sunlight or they make UV flashlights, these are gonna glow. And these we saw have been placed, uh, they're outlining in the eyes of the jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and so that's gonna have a really, really, really cool effect. Let me take a quick look and see if I can find where these ABs are gonna go without too much trouble. So um, symbol-wise, let me see. Okay, the yellow AB is kind of sprinkled throughout. It's the lightest yellow color that you sometimes see in some of these areas. It's a little bit of outlining around the jack-o'-lantern's eyes. We have a little bit of that yellow AB. And then the red AB, let's see, is that moon symbol? Let's see where that one is. I didn't, I'm not, it's not jumping out at me right away. Um, shout if you see it. <laughs> um, I see it up here. There's a red AB doing an outline right here. That's a really small amount of red AB, so I wonder, is that the only spot? It might be. Uh, that's the only spot I'm seeing the red AB is up there. And then we've got uh, the black AB and the orange AB. Um, let's see. The orange AB is sprinkled in some similar areas to the yellow AB actually. It's just lightly dotted. There's just a little bit of it sprinkled throughout those lightest areas. And then the black AB, let's see, it's the letter H. I see a little bit of it here. I see a little bit of it here. It's just kind of sprinkled through some of these transition areas, some of the areas that transition from the black to the red. There's just little bits of it. So it's gonna give it a little bit of like a glisten effect, I think, a little bit more of a glimmer. And then the glow in the darks we talked about, yeah, they kind of outline it. It's not the big center symbol, it's the triangle symbol that's going around the edge. <sighs> that's gonna be so cool. You guys, this is the absolutely adorable and such a fun kit called Pumpkin Patch Dragon from Enablers Outpost and Emma Casey. I, like I said, I do believe that this is available for purchase on their website still. I think it might be made to order. And I also have to double check if it's still full crystal, but I'll have it linked either way below in the description box if you wanna take a look. And if nothing else, please go check out Enablers Outpost. They not only have a really nice variety of legally licensed diamond painting kits, they also sell 
amazing diamond painting pens. It's what they kind of started out as and uh, some uh, Enablers Not Post Chit, which is a scented putty. They've got lots of fun stuff. They do mystery boxes seasonally too, so go and take a look. Anyway, that was the Enablers Outpost kit. Now I'm excited to get into this kit from Crystal Canvas Art Designs, and it's this really adorable little, I think it's called Kitty Latte. I'm gonna double check. And the image is licensed from Shutterstock, and it's really cute and little, 20 by 25 centimeters. But I ordered a couple of kits from them just a couple weeks ago, and uh, this one I thought would be really fun, a really fun little snack size, like smaller size kit to work on sometime during the event. And they do really have a nice variety of, um, of licensed images as well. And they also have started hand charting some of their kits, which is so fun. So you are gonna get a basic toolkit. You've got a pink tray, um, a pen and squishy, and some wax. And then here's this, oh my gosh, it's so little and so cute. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, hold on a second. Let me roll it backwards here. Uh, this is adorable. I feel like you could almost sit and do this in a sitting. Now, this is also a full crystal kit, but I believe it's all round shaped crystals. Oh, this actually says on here it's licensed artwork by Ancha Lee R. I'm gonna double check um, on the artist's name and I'll have them linked below uh, as well. But here, here's the thumbnail. This color list, it just has seven colors. It didn't come with a separate paper legend, but it doesn't really, that's not necessary given the size of this one. Um, but here's their, here's their branding, Crystal Canvas Art Designs and their website. They have a Facebook group as well glimmers shimmers and shines like i said they've been around for a while they've been sponsoring jills and chills for several years and uh they're just the owners are so sweet and they have such a nice variety of artwork and they actually have started hand charting some of their designs too which is really fun uh, the backing on it is this kind of short lint don't mind me i have a black cat very very on theme right for both this kit and for for the event um it's a kind of short soft lint backing on the canvas and this is just adorable and if we'll just go ahead and look up close just pure color blocking only seven colors in this kit all crystals this is gonna be so adorable <laughs> i love it so much the cute little kitty yep yep that's gonna work up so quickly and be ridiculously adorable now let me show you the crystals uh so we do have this am669 same uh model number here on the canvas and then the crystals themselves let's take a look and they do have some really big Folder, full crystal kits as well. They have a lot, uh, a lot to offer. So if you haven't checked them out before, please do. Okay, so I think this is probably our background color. So just like the last kit, you can see that the backing on these, it's again this kind of mirror backing. And um, wow, that's so sparkly. These are obviously round instead of square. And then we have these pretty pale colors, kind of pale pink, pale yellow. This orange I'm sure is in the coffee cup. And then this, these numbers uh, correspond to the numbers on the left side of the legend. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I'm not sure if that's what they do with their bigger kits as well. It's not a big deal at all with these really small kits with only a few colors, but um, yeah. Then we have these two ones, kind of a, a little darker black than the other ones, more of a gray. But we go it's so cute oh my goodness oh my gosh that's so 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 fun so this again uh, the name on this one was I believe uh, latte kitty latte pumpkin kitty latte or something similar it'll be linked in the description box as will our adorable pumpkin patch dragon <laughs> and I encourage you to take a look at both these shops if you haven't already because uh, like I said, I've had really amazing experiences with both, and I will link to any post reviews I've done from both shops so that you can take a look at how some of their kits will turn out finished. But right now I wanna take a quick break and talk about my weekly prizes I have to give away this week. Now, just like I mentioned, Lindsay is gonna be giving away some prizes over on her channel as well. So be sure that you are um, subscribed and you go watch her week one video because she's gonna have some prizes to give away that are separate from mine. Uh, so let me tell you about what the prizes are first and then I'm gonna tell you about how to enter. Uh, so first uh, we have a an event tray, a Drills and Chills 2023 event tray that's been donated by Bijou Bliss. And I don't have one to show you here in person. I actually just ordered it today for myself when I went live, but I'm gonna put a picture on the screen so you can see it. It's so adorable. The the cat and the moon are a, glitter, a black glitter filament. And then the base color on the rest of it is a color shift effect. And then it says Drills and Chills 2023 on the side. So a huge thank you to Bijou Bliss for not only creating this event tray, but also they've donated these weekly prizes for us to give away. So 
um, please check out Bijou Bliss if you haven't already. I, I have one of their trays and really thoroughly enjoy working on it. They have these nice magnetic features that are really convenient and they have customizable options and have some really cute Halloween and fall themed goodies as well. So that's the first prize I have to give away. And then the second prize I have to give away is a $15 gift card to DP with Sparklers. So speaking of special drills, DP with Sparklers has an amazing assortment of special diamonds and they've been around for a long time and I've had the privilege of partnering with them for sponsoring drills and chills for several years and uh, they also have some diamond paintings that similarly to these have a lot of special drills or exclusively special drills in them so I'm um, a huge thank you to DP with sparklers for donating uh, this this $15 di uh, gift card and they've donated several others throughout the event as well the third prize that I have to give away is a Halloween coaster set from distracted by diamonds slash Patty Wax. Distracted by Diamonds, actually the owner was one of the people, one of the two people that originated Drills and Chills five years ago and um, has continued to be really involved in the event and sponsored and supported. Um, and I adore what their shop has to offer. They have a variety of diamond painting accessories, including Patty Wax, which was one of the original pink wax alternatives. Um, they have Patty Wax Super Sticky and they've expanded into licensed diamond painting kits. And now they have some of these really cute special drill kits like these coasters, which have gotten really popular lately as well. So thank you to Ben and Rob and the owners for donating this for uh, one of these week one prizes. And then last but not least, I have a bundle of goodies from Randa's Crafty Corner to give away this week. Um, Randa's Crafty Corner has an amazing scented putty and they do restocks, I believe on Mondays and always have a, a really fun variety of different scents. And she's really in tune with di doing different seasonal scents. She started doing some bundles with cover minders and she started doing a mystery bundle. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff happening over there. And she also also recently started selling licensed diamond paintings, which I had a really great experience with the one I did earlier this year. But I have um, some some putty and goodies to Randa from Randa's Crafty Corner to give away, um, and I don't have those to show you just yet. But I I. I'm excited to get to send those out. So there's four different prizes I have to give away this week. They're going to be going to different winners. So we'll have four different winners for this week. And I'm sure you're wondering, how do I enter? <laughs> and that's a fair question. So there's two really important steps that I want to make sure that you follow. So first is there is a weekly prize giveaway form linked in the description box of this video. We have just one universal weekly prize giveaway form for the entirety of the event. It is the same between Lindsay's and my channel. So, and it's the same for all weeks of the event for the weekly prizes specifically. You only have to fill out this form one time during the entire course of the event. The only reason you would need to fill it out again is if your address changes or the way that your name appears on YouTube changes, or you can just email us if that's the case, but you only have to fill out this form one time. It's just so we can get your information. It helps let us know if you live outside of the United States. Um, so all of these prizes, I believe are with the exception of the distracted by diamonds coaster set, um, are open to international, um, non-US residents, but there is a box to check on there because some of our small shops that are shipping prizes directly um, have offered to ship internationally just at the prize winner's cost. And that's completely up to you if that's something you're open to. There's a box on the form that you can check if you live outside of the United States and you're willing to pay the difference in shipping in order to be eligible for US otherwise US only prizes. I hope that makes sense. Please read the form carefully. It has all of the rules and details listed out for you. But again, the important thing I wanted to say, because I've already seen this question a lot, is that this form is universal between Lindsay's and my channels and giveaways and universal between all eight weeks of our weekly giveaways. So you only have to fill out this form once, not every week, not different forms between our channels. Okay, so that's step one, <laughs> fill out that form really important. Step two that is specific to this video, uh, because each week we're going to give you different instructions and in each, each of our respective videos will give you instructions to follow to enter. For uh, this week's video, if you could write a comment on this video that includes the word pumpkin and uh, it please don't include the words prize or giveaway or anything like that. And don't just write the word pumpkin use it in a sentence somehow, but we've got lots of pumpkin and like a pumpkin latte going on over here. Just include a comment that somehow includes the word pumpkin. 
This giveaway is gonna stay open. Let's see. I will have it stay open through Thursday. Let's see, it's gonna be Thursday, September 7th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. At that point, the giveaway will close. I'm gonna draw winners for this one, and then I'm gonna announce the winners for my week one giveaways in my week two video, which is going to go up on Saturday, September 9th. So Lindsay will announce the winners and for her videos in her videos, and I'll do the same for mine. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you're wondering about how to enter for the grand prize giveaway, there is a separate form for grand prize entry, and it is always going to be in the description boxes for our event videos, but you cannot fill out the grand prize entry form until you have completed your kit. So um, there's no rush. That's going to stay open through October 31st when the event ends. But just so you know, don't try to fill out that form until you've actually completed your canvas, which at this point, we're two days into the event. If you're watching this when this video goes live, I'm guessing you haven't completed your kit yet. I mean, unless it was a really small kit. But anyway, those are all the details for the giveaways this week. A huge thank you again to our sponsors for making these giveaways possible uh, and for providing uh, such amazing and fun products for event participants to enjoy and discount codes to take advantage of and all of that. So anyway, you guys, uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on these kits. Have you ever worked on a full crystal canvas before or a kit that only has special diamonds or something like that. I'd love to hear. Um, I'm really curious to try out a canvas with all square crystals. I haven't done a square crystal kit before and that would be really fun. And then this cute little snack size one is super fun too. So anyway, you guys go show some small shops some love this week and be sure to check out our sponsor list in the description box. And yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Be sure you're subscribed to both my channel and Lindsay and Emeralds and Fairy Lights channel so you can stay up to date with all of the drills and chills of that are happening. Our weekly videos are, are we're planning for those to always go up on Saturdays, but you know, life happens. We've got small children. <laughs> Occasionally those mo may get bumped to a Sunday or something like that. And we'll try to adjust accordingly with giveaways and everything, but just, um, yeah, be sure you're tuning in each week for the different instructions for our weekly giveaways and best of luck to everyone and enjoy working on your drills and chills projects. All right, my friends, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. One that is just as amazing as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.